Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm excited to sit down and record this and show you guys. Yesterday I went to the Harry Potter studios in London. Um, hopefully you guys have seen the vlog that I recorded whilst we were there. But I had a great time. It was great to see all the new things because last time I went it was 2015 and they didn't have the Forbidden Forest and they didn't have the Hogwarts Express whilst I was there last time but this time they had it and it was so great to see it. I got emotional, I felt magical and my bank account cried. I brought a lot and I thought I'd show you guys what I brought. I got two heavy heavy bags filled with stuff and I'm just going to probably have a very long video of me showing you what I brought. So if I start with this one because there's a lighter bag. Um, I brought something from every single shop. They've got the main shop which is at, which you get to see at the beginning and at the end. Like that's where you finish off at. There's the Forbidden Forest shop and the Platform and Three Quarters. The Hogwarts shop. The Express shop. So let's run in my bag and see what I've got. I've got quite a lot of charms in bits so I'm just going to pull things out and go from there. So the first thing I got, actually I got this on my way back, I got the Tri-Wizard Cup. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm really hoping it focuses. I have the charm bracelet that I've got for just Harry Potter stuff and I get these charms. The reason I got the Tri-Wizard Cup is because that's like the theme at the moment. It's like the Goblet of Fire. Um, you got to see the Goblet file in the main hall and everything, it's like the special event and I thought it would be cool to get the Tri-Wizard Cup to go on my child. I didn't have the Goblet, though, the Goblet one, which is why I went for the Tri-Wizard one. But it's cute and it dangles and I wish I had my charm on now. But I'm not going to tell you prices, if you want to get an idea of how much the prices are, just go onto the Harry Potter Studios website and there's like the online shop there and it'll tell you basically how much things are cost. Because I feel like if I tell you prices, some people will then work out exactly how much I've spent. And I am embarrassed with how much I've spent. So first item, it's a very cute charm. Um, I also got a pin badge. And this is the Honey Jukes one. And I love pins, I collect pins. And I just thought this one was super cute. Because it's a little sign and it just hangs on there. And I said I just found it really really adorable. I like the fact that it's like a little signpost. And it's the really good pins as well. It's got like good pin backs as well. So that's that. Um, I got another pin badge because I found it absolutely adorable. There were quite a few cute ones and I had these options to get these as charms as well for your bracelet. But I went for the pin badge because I thought I brought a lot of pin, um, charms and my bracelet was going to get full otherwise. But it's just a little cute Hagrid. Like, how adorable is he? I don't know if I'm going to put him on my pin display or put him on my denim jacket. Because he's just too adorable. I kind of want him with me at all times. But he is super, super cute. I absolutely love him. Him, Sirius, Black and Dobby are my three favourite characters from Harry Potter. If I did the order, I probably would be Sirius, Black, Hagrid, Dobby. Or Dobby and Hagrid, I don't know which one. But Sirius, Black is my all-time favourite. But they didn't have one of him, and um, the Dobby one looked really weird. The Dobby pin, a style of pin like this, kind of looked like Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. So I thought I'd go for my little cutie old Hagrid. Um, we've also then got another charm. My house is Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Every time I do a Sort and House quiz, I've done it on Pottermore. I've done all these random, all these other online Sort and Hat ones. And every time, I am a Gryffindor. I've never had it come to anything else. However, me and my sister are convinced I'm a part Slytherin as well. Like, I'm full, I'm like probably 83, like I'm 83 percent Gryffindor and then the rest of the percentage is probably Slytherin because I am a bit like the Slytherins and I have some of the traits that they say that you are a Slytherin. So I got myself a small Slytherin charm to go on my bracelet as well. I've got the whole Gryffindor one and I just thought it'd be cool to get a, the Gryffindor one is a lot bigger. Like, yeah, the Gryffindor one is basically like twice the size as this one. So I thought it'd be nice to get the small Slytherin one as well. And then that way I have both my houses on there. Hopefully these are focusing. My camera isn't great at focusing on items. So hopefully you guys are seeing them. If you aren't, I will just put, and it hasn't focused, I'll just in this, insert a photo as well. So what else have we got in here? I am, um, of course, ah, I got the program 
the official guide. I got one of these when I last went, but I decided to get it again just because of the fact that it's got the new, it's the new edition. It has the stuff about the Express and the Forbidden Forest as well. But it's a really nice guide. You can get hardback as well, but obviously the hardback costs more. And it's just a colourful guide about the studios. It tells you about like how things were done, like how they, the film effects. You've got special effects. You've got the Forbidden Forest, as I mentioned. You've got the Mal Malfoy Manor. Quidditch, it just tells you facts about it and I like reading that, it's a good little thing to read and it's good to have as a way to remember my trip to Harry Potter Studio. I also spent a lot, and I mean a lot, on postcards. I got so many postcards it's ridiculous and I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. So the first postcard I got is of Darby because he is awesome and I love him and I just love him, yeah, so I got Dobby. I got Bellatrix wanted poster which I thought was really cool. She's another one of my characters that I love. I wouldn't say she's my favourite but I do find her absolutely hilarious and she's an amazing character. I then got this scene because this is like one of my favourite scenes in um, the films. I love it when they're on the boat going up to the castle. So I've got that as a postcard. I then have my love Sirius Black. Ah, have you seen this weird as a poster? Because I was determined to come home with something serious black related. I nearly got a photo frame of it with him in it. And it was just basically this as a photo frame. But I thought the postcard was cheaper and I may as well. It felt a bit weird buying like a photo frame with someone in that I've never met. But postcard, why not? So I've got my lovely serious black. I then got two Fantastic Beasts one. This one just says, you're one of us now because I thought it was really cute. And I really like that part of this in the film when... They tell Jacob that he is one of us. So that's cute. I really hope I'm not like too close. I'm like, meep, meep, meep. don't know where I'm holding up. And then I got one of Newt because Newt is absolutely amazing and I love him. So there you are. Those are my postcards. I also got another one, but I don't know where it's gone. It'll probably be in the other bag. Um, Mamajin, Mamajin, Mamajin. I also got a book which is about house elves and it's a 3D Dobby. You can build and colour your own 3D Dobby. I just wanted to get something Dobby related. I nearly got a figurine but that cost £35 so I went for the book instead. The book is a really nice book though. It's got some facts in it and it's very like good quality. It just tells you how they created him. It talks about all the other house elves as well and it's got some good drawings and that'll be something fun to read. And then it also comes with a puzzle, so it's like a wooden puzzle, I don't really want to know if I can open it now. <laughs> Where do you, how do you get out? <laughs> I can't get out. But yeah, it also comes with a puzzle set so that you can, it's like wood and you basically build it up and that. And I've done one of those before for a dinosaur, I got one and then I spray painted it. So if I build it, I will then probably spray paint him and then I'll have my own Dobby, so that's kind of cool. Um, my box is get, bag is getting empty and nearly done. I also got a wand. The last time I went, I got Sirius Pat's wand. This time I couldn't decide which one to get, and then I saw, it sounds bad, I got a Death Eater one. But the reason I got it is because it's absolutely amazing. It looks fantastic. The one I've got is a Death It. if I get it out carefully. Just look at it. It's a snake like body, so you've got the snake head and everything, and then in the side of the snake you've got a skeleton. As weird as it is, I like I love snakes, I absolutely adore snakes, and I absolutely love skeletons and like dead stuff in a way. Like I find that sort of stuff fascinating and I guess it's like the dark side of me, it's my sliver inside basically kind of thing. I just absolutely loved it and it's really good quality and I just thought it would look cool to go against Sirius Black's one. I nearly got Newt's wand, but for some reason, or at least to me, the Fantastic Beast ones looked felt different to these ones. They were more expensive than the like Harry Potter ones, but they felt cheap. They felt like cheaper, like they were more lightweight and they didn't look as good quality. So I ended up getting this one, but I like it. I'm happy with it, and I can't wait to put it on display. Um. I also got a chocolate wand for one of my friends and in this bag I have got a load of receipts. I also treated myself to one of the Harry Potter mystery figurines. From what you can tell from behind me I do collect like the Funko Pop 
figurines and I have a display down below for Harry Potter ones and I just thought it would be cool to get the one of these and open it up. I haven't ever been able to buy like the boxes actually as a mystery mini. I have to buy the figurines from a Facebook page because nowhere I know around me sells these and so I just thought I'd get it now and open it up. So you have quite a few options so let's see what I have. I like opening this for me. I tried, I kept weighing them as well to try and work out what I've got. Can't work out what I've got. And I went, I always, this is the thing with mystery things, I always go from the back of it. Like, oh! Okay, the one I got is actually 1 out of 24, so me going to the back of a shelf was very lucky. Got a Dementor. Ooh, I'm really happy with that. You look so weird and creepy and kind of cute. But. Yeah, I always go, when I get these sort of stuff, I always pick the back boxes and that, because I'm like, when people unload them on the shelves, I imagine like, I don't know, I always feel like you're luckier to go to the back of the shelf than you might have to start at the front of the shelf. And I turned out to be quite lucky. I don't know who I would have wanted. Bellatrix probably would have been, Bellatrix or Luna probably would have been the only ones I would want from this set, actually. But and they're all 124th anyway, so I was really lucky to get a 1 out 24th. I really thought I'd get like Harry or Ron because they're 1 out 6. But uh, there you go, he is so, it's a really cute actually. And now he can just sit with my Death Eater wand and then I've kind of got like a dark kind of corner getting made as well. As if he wants to stand up, apparently. He doesn't stand up, okay, he's just gonna like, he's gonna be fun to try and display. He doesn't stand up. So not like anything to like stand in. Nope, okay. Next up, next bag! Woo! We're getting there! Ugh, this is a heavy bag. So heavy. I've got so much stuff in it actually. Some of the stuff is just stuff that I took with me and everything, so I'll just empty that out whilst I'm at it. So, I got to ride on my broomstick, and I have got a video. It came on a little cute USB, so this would, totally, this would be, would have gone in my um, tour YouTube video anyway, the video that I put up for it. And I just thought it was cute that they, I wanted to, I thought it was fun, and I thought, why the hell not get a video of me looking absolutely like a twat? So I got that. Um, at the Forbidden Forest, I got some more charms, and I got these three, it was a set of three, and it's got one that says Forbidden Forest, one that's, one's got the spider Aragorn, Aragog, I can't even remember his blade name, and mine's gone blank, and then Batby. So there you hope you see him. I've honestly got Aragog gone. Aragog. Oh, I can't remember his name. Oh, my name's gone blank. I haven't slept for long. There you go. Got those. Image, image, image. I got another book. This book is Fantastic Beat One, Beast One, and it's a movie scrapbook. And on the back, it just says learn all all about New Newt and the incredible film. Fantastic. I want to try and open it and I can show you guys what it's like. Ow. Mmm. Jesus Christ. What do I tell this? I can't get into it. Let me in. Let me open the book. I can't rip it. And then my teeth hurts. I haven't got anything sharp to like stab it with. Ready? No, okay, I wanted to show you what it looked like on the inside. Basically on the back it has got inserts as well. And it should be a cool book. It looked cool when we were looking for it. I really just hurt my tooth trying to open that. And rummage, rummage, rummage. Loads of receipts. I found my other postcard. So I got Buckbeak postcard. The reason I got this one is because I bowed to Buckbeak. I bowed to him a few times and he did not bow back to me at all. I got rejected by Buckbeak and I just thought it was really cool to get a postcard of him to remember the time when Buckbeak rejected me. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, I got loads. I got another pin badge. This was the nine and three quarters one, which I got at the station because I felt like I needed something to remind me of how happy I felt and how magical it felt walking on that station and seeing the train. Especially because the train, you know, was smoking and the like train, I don't want to be really stupid, but went the dumber toot toot sound. It. What's that sound even called? It like haunt, honked its horn without being a horn. It made a train, train noise, okay? And I just thought this one was really cute. It's quite big and bulky and it's a nice little pin badge. No, not really little, it's quite big. Um, loads and loads of receipts. 
loads of receipts. Ugh. I got my train ticket as well from the shop of the train station one. Um, I felt like I needed a train ticket. I needed my ticket to Hogwarts. I haven't had my letter yet, but at least once when I actually finally, you know, receive my letter to Hogwarts, I've got my train ticket ready to get me there. I'm still waiting though. One day, maybe one day, I will get invited to go. Oh, my letter will be here. Probably just got lost in the post. Where I live, my mail's rubbish, so my letter to Hogwarts got lost. Or my owl. My owl bringing my letter got lost because I live in the middle of nowhere. Um, we also, this isn't something we brought, but we also did this whilst we were, oh look receipt, whilst we were going around. You can, the kids, they offer like a Harry Potter Studio passport and it's like for kids. But adults seem to do it as well and it's basically you go through it in the stamps now and you can just get like really cool embossed stamps. My favourite one probably that I did was either the Death, the, um, Death Eater Mark, the Death Mark, because that came out really well. I don't know if you're about to see it, or the Death Mark, the Dark Mark that the Death Eaters have. Ugh. I'm not doing very well with my brain at the moment. Or the Hogwarts one, the Hogwarts one came out really well. Hopefully you guys see that. My brain is really, like, I'm proper like saying the wrong things now about Harry Potter and I feel really bad about myself, but my brain's just like, I'm ready for bed. I have been up for like an hour and a half now, it's 12 o'clock, and I'm still tired. I'm, I could sleep now for so much longer. Um, I also got some coins. I saw these last time when I went and I regret buying them. That's like my biggest regret. And I thought, you know what, I'm buying them again. So I have got the Green Grotz Banks coin collection and it comes in a, ugh, it took me ages to find where they are. They'll put in like a display case, you have to ask for them. But they come in a really cute display. I'm going to like take them out of the plastic case. And look at that, isn't that so adorable? I, I love coins, I collect coins. And this is something I've always wanted in my collection and I finally have got it in my collection. But when I put it back, so I've never seen what they look like on the back. Oh, that's so cool. So that one, so heavy as well, they're a good weight. Because my hand is such an such awkward angle. They've got good weight to them. So, and it just says, this document certifies that the enclosed coins are authentic replicas from the Warner Brothers picture Harry Potter, Harry Potter film series. Please enjoy the unique offering from the Noble Collection. So that's so cute. I am so happy with it. It's possibly my favourite purchase actually and that's mainly because of the fact that I've wanted them for three years now. Um, we're getting nearest to the end now. Stay, stay, stay. Um, oh, I got some more pin badges. These were from the Forbidden Forest and these are just the spy, like, spiders. Plan is to put one on my backpack for work, one on my denim jacket, and one on my pin display collection. Yeah, for my pin collection. So, just spiders. They look cool. I'm kind of happy actually. The more you look at them, they don't look that creepy. They look kind of like, hee hee, I'm a spider, happy. Um, Mumjin, Mumjin. Oh, me and my sister, we both got butter beer to drink. She got the souvenir glass because when I went last time I got souvenir glass. But we also tried the butter beer ice cream. That is so, so nice. And we did get a little Sunday dish with it as well. We spent that extra money to get the souvenir Sunday dish. But the butter beer ice cream, it came, it was like filled up to like that high. And it is so nice and so sweet. I got like a sugar rush. I got a sugar headache because I was eating, having so much sugar. And I couldn't finish all because it was just too much sugar. But it was amazing. And I'll tell you that it was like £6 for this and the ice cream. Which is pretty good. I think it was like 6 95 actually or something like that. But it's still good. My pile is gradually falling over to me. We're nearly done. I think I've got two items in there now. Okay. So one thing I made sure I got was the chocolate frog and I'm excited to open it guys with you guys. Hopefully I can actually open it because you know my sister opened hers yesterday and her card was slivering. Ow! Actually at least. And I'm excited to see who I get in mine. Oh! Chocolate frog! So the packaging is absolutely beautiful. The weight to it the weight you've got a lovely well, I think it's solid it might be hollow you've got a very heavy chocolate frog 
And I've got exactly the same card as my sister. It's so funny because we got ours from completely different shelves. I got a Sansa Slytherin. Oh, that is hilarious. One of the four cele celebrated founders of Hogwarts. And he was the first one to re first record a parcel mouse and accomplish. His last remaining heir was Lord Voldemort. Ooh, it's not very pretty. But there you go. I was really hoping. To, I don't, actually, I wasn't hoping for Dumbledore. I don't know who I was hoping for. But that's kind of. It's, I just think it's funny that me and my sister got the same card. Like, what are the chances? And I have a chocolate frog to enjoy and eat. Even though I'm not that keen on chocolate, I just wanted a chocolate frog. So, there we go. And then the last two things in here are photographs. And we fell. My collection is stuff for this one. So as I said, I got to ride on broom and we got some photos. So first photo is me on my broomstick. I'm so shiny, it's ridiculous, but I liked it. I thought it was cool and I had my grip. And you can tell I had we actually this is my own Gryffindor thing. I went in full school uniform. I had my Gryffindor clothes on basically. I was ready for it. So there you go. And then I got this photo as well. Which is me and my sister. Have you seen these witches? We look ridiculously happy in our school uniforms. But my, and my sister said that's a bit weird because of the fact that, you know, it's like a want a sign. My theory is they've used an old school photo because we've caused so much trouble. They can't get photographs of anymore, us anymore because we're just, you know, causing trouble. So there you go. That was my haul. As you can tell, I brought a lot of stuff. But I had a lot of fun, a lot of memories. And I'm, I like to collect stuff and I like, I have a Harry Potter display downstairs and I don't know, I just want to treat myself. I felt like I deserved to treat myself and that's what I did. I can't wait to go again. I think we're considering to go again in October half term because in like October, November they have like the Halloween the Dark Arts kind of one and I think that would be really cool. However, if I do go again, I am giving myself a price limit. I'm literally going to take cash with me, no bank card and then that way once I run out of money that's that, I can't buy any more because I did go a little bit over but it was like, I was treating it as a holiday I felt like I deserved it, I'm treating myself and my inner geek or my outer geek is like woohoo, loads of Harry Potter gear and my cat is enjoying the fact that she now has a big bag to sit in so there you go, thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought was your, my fa your, your favourite item that I purchased if you do want to know prices, like I said, check it out on the, their website and if you can't find it on their website, ask me and I'll let you know I will say this, that nothing costs less than a fiver from what I've got so it kind of gives you an idea of like prices so you keep so you keep it up 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 <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the time of day is. I hope you have been smiling because that's the most important thing. And I see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, hey, Wiggles, what are you doing in that bag? Wiggles loves the bag. See? She loves it.